Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to show you how to make an acoustic IR. If you've seen my channel before, I've spoke a lot about impulse responses, or IRs for short. These are a way of taking your piezo pickup from your acoustic guitar and making it sound more like a microphone. I've reviewed and covered many pedals that do this. There's the Bags pedal, the Tone Dexter pedal, the New X pedal, the Fishman pedal. There's also a way I've discussed on the channel about how to make your own IR using a website. Now this was a plugin on a website and I wasn't sure if it would work with my M1 Mac, but there's now a new updated version where you simply upload two files to the site and it gives you a few IRs to try out. This is what we'll cover today. I'm gonna to tell you basically how to do it. The full instructions are on the website itself and I'm gonna show you the final results and give you my thoughts and impressions on how good they are. So what will you need for this? Well, first of all, you're gonna need obviously an acoustic guitar with a pickup. So most people are gonna be using like a Fishman Matrix under saddle, a Bags Element under saddle, maybe a K and K. You can try this with any piezo based pickup and your results may vary. But today I'm gonna to use a Fishman Gold Plus that's just your kind of most common under saddle pickup. Often the sound that we want to change because it is pretty, I don't want to say bad because you might like the sound of this pickup, but especially with headphones, you, the direct sound of this pickup can be very kind of aggressive and I don't like that sound. And that's what I'm trying to smooth out for my headphone use. Sometimes live, the sound of a raw pickup can work well. We'll discuss that in another video, but let's get on with it. So you're going to need your guitar with your pickup, You'll also need an audio interface because we're going to plug the guitar into that interface and also a microphone into the interface. So we need two channels because we're going to record these simultaneously. And the microphone is up to you. The microphone is what will be reflected in the pickup when we're done. So you can try different microphones. If you don't have a microphone, you can borrow one or buy a more affordable microphone. Today, I'm going to use a small condenser mic for this experiment. That's what you'll need. And you'll need a door and a computer. So a door is a digital audio workstation. That's simply going to be Logic in my case, or GarageBand or Cubase anything like that, Pro Tools. So that's it. You probably have the guitar and the computer, hopefully an audio interface if you're a musician. If not, maybe you can borrow a friend. This is a very quick process to do this. So let me show you the first part of this process. This is Logic Pro, and I've recorded two tracks. Now, the best thing to do is to name your tracks, because I keep getting confused about which track is which. Audio 1 up here is the microphone. So I'm going to label that mic, and Audio 2 is the pickup. So I'll just label that pickup. Let me play these to you so you can see what they sound like. You want to get a really good recording of your guitar with the microphone. It doesn't really matter what you play. Some people will say it does. Some people will say it doesn't at all. But I like to just do some strumming, some single notes, scales, finger picking. You have to do between one and two minutes for this. And it doesn't matter if you make a mistake or anything. The most important thing really is that you get a nice healthy recording level. So don't clip the input, but don't get a weak signal either. This is what the microphone sounded like when I recorded it in the room. Now, I really like that sound. If I was playing live, again, I might want more definition. I might want some pickup sound. I might even want to use a guitar with just a dual source pickup. But to hear that in my headphones playing at night with some reverb is a great tone. I love it. You could now go in there and EQ that sound to make it even more what you want. And then the IR will be EQ'd as well. But I'm just going to leave it completely raw and natural for now. So now we have the pickup sound. This is just my guitar plugged straight into the interface and it sounds like this. Some people like that sound because they're used to it or they like how cutting it is at a gig. In my headphones, and you should be using headphones today as well, by the way, it's very direct. It's a little bit kind of uncomfortable for me. I want it to be softer like the microphone. And that's why I'm creating the IR today. So you've got those two files. You're then going to pan them left and right 
So the top track, I believe the mic goes all the way to the right and the bottom one goes all the way to the left. Check the instructions on the website. I'll put their link below to the site. You bounce this out as a file. So what you end up with is a file with the mic on one side and the pickup on the other side. You do 48K WAV file. Bounce that out and you've got a file. Then what you do is you take that file and you head over to the website, which is acousticir.free.ir. Again, I'll link that below. Click on here at the top and then how do I get my own IR? And then scroll down. This is the old version, the Octave version. That worked pretty well, but I don't know if it works with the M1 Mac. This is the new version, the online version, and this is the one I'm using today. So it tells you here exactly how to do it. There's a link to the online generator, so I'll click that. You just have to be logged in with a Gmail account. Click on this folder here, it says files. Now what you're gonna do here is you're gonna drop in, just drag and drop that file we just created. So in my case, I've called that file om-28e.wav. So I'll drop that in. There's a warning, I'll just click OK. It takes a few seconds to upload the file and then you'll see it appear on the left side. Okay, there it is, om-28e.wav. So it's now up there. Now what we're gonna do is scroll down and just rename something here. It says file name equals rmikelpic0. So that's just a placeholder, that red text. So just simply highlight that and change it to the file name that you added on that file we just uploaded. So in my case, om-28 space e, make sure it's exactly the same. Okay, there's a little play button here. It says run cell. I'll press that, run anyway, and now it's creating the IR files. It's gonna give us three files. One is just your standard IR file. Another one is a 50-50 blend between the pickup and the IR. This could be very useful if you're playing live. It will have some of that definition brought back again. The other file, which is my favorite, is a modified file with an M in the title. This is slightly brighter. And you'll see when I show you the files that this one gets a bit closer to the mic, in my opinion. So that's the three files there. You're just gonna click on the three dots next to each one and click on download, and it will save the files to your computer. You've now got your IR files you can load and use. The only problem here is how are we gonna listen to these files? How are we gonna play them? How are we gonna use the files? You need an IR loader. Luckily in 2023, there's a bunch of IR loaders on the market. The Nuex pedal, can load IRs, the Helix family of products can load IRs, the Quad Cortex can load IRs. The thing is with the Quad Cortex, as of time of this video, it only loads the half length IR. Still sounds good to me, but isn't gonna be as natural and original as a 2048. So 2048 IRs is what the Helix can do. Some loaders can do even longer. I believe the difference is you get more low end, which doesn't really bother me anyway. But there's a lot of options. And if you're just trying this out before you make the leap into buying an IR loader or a multi-effects pedal, download Helix Native and you can play it back through that. That's what we're gonna do today. I believe there's a free trial and you can use that to audition these and see if you wanna use them in your performances. So let's jump back into Logic. And I've already loaded Helix Native, you can see it here. And I've loaded it on the pickup track, of course, because that's where we wanna apply the IR. So what you do is you click and you add a block and you add an IR block. You have to go up here to IRs and import these. You just drag them in to where it says IRs and then you're good to go. So I've selected them here. The first one I'll play back is the standard IR file. So let's hear the microphone first of all. Use headphones for this section if you can. Here is just the mic and then I'll switch over to just the pickup. So we can just hear the difference again. Okay, big difference, right? Let's now enable the IR and do that test again. Here's the mic and then the pickup with the IR. Much closer, but sounds like there's a sheet over the top, right? The high end isn't there. And that's why we have this modified IR. Let's do that test again. It's really good. It's captured the feeling of that mic, hasn't it? It's not one-to-one. -one, and I would like to see this in the future. I feel like now the Quad Cortex and the Kemper and these kind of electric pedals that create IRs and, and capture amps can get one-to-one. -one. They can sound identical. This isn't identical, but it's greatly improved in my opinion. And it's also 
captured the characteristic of the microphone. It's just that there's still some pickup and harsh frequencies mixed in there as well. Now you could now go in and EQ this, because this is just straight up. I think this is great because it's basically taken the pickup from something that I don't want to hear in my headphones to something that I could now use for practicing and live use if I had in-ears in or something like that. There's one more, which is the blended IR. Let's check that one out. Start with the mic and then play that. That's nice, that's probably gonna work well live. I'm more interested in in-ears and recording today. So I'm gonna stick with the modified IR. I bet if I didn't play the mic to you first, so you don't hear them back to back, you wouldn't know. It sounds so much better than just a pickup by itself. And I wanna put in here as well, I haven't played any acoustic IR yet that sounds exactly like the microphone. So I have to give Kuki and his process a big thumbs up. And if you do end up using this, remember this is a free thing. He's done this in his own time. I believe on his website, there is a way to make a donation. So maybe consider donating if you end up using this professionally because it's free. And also some of the paid options don't let you export the IR to use in other products. What you're getting here is three IRs that are very easy to make and you can export them into any pedal that you want and then play around with them. Also, don't forget, this was my first attempt. Use different microphones, use different mic placement, maybe pre-EQ it before you create the IR in your door. These are all things that you can do to make it even more customized to what you want. Also add some reverb, add some EQ in the pedal that you're using. That's why the Helix stuff is good because you get reverb, delay, compression, all this stuff where you can further dress up that sound and customize it to what you want. So I think this is great. I think if you're an acoustic guitarist, you should check this out and try to make some IRs. I still think we've got a way to go and I wanna see that sound even closer to the mic. I want it to be one to one and I hope that day comes. And when it does come, I will report it on my channel. So please subscribe and ring the bell if you're new here. Check out my other videos on IRs as well. There's so much to discuss on the topic that I can't cover it all in one video. Today is just about reviewing this service and this process and my thoughts on it. I think it sounds really great and I look forward to seeing where all this stuff goes to. So let me know in the comments below, do you use acoustic IRs? Do you think they sound good? Do you like them? Do you think they're the future of acoustic guitar amplification? Personally, I feel like it's still maybe better to use something like a Bags Anthem Dual Source or a Cole Clark three-way system than have to create these IRs and take a pedal and load them in and they still might not be quite the right sound you want for a live gig, but certainly for recording, like playing here late at night with headphones through this, it's such a better experience than just playing in straight from the pickup into a pedal and hearing it with the headphones on. It's too aggressive for me. It's not natural enough. So you got to check this out. I look forward to seeing where all this stuff goes in the future. I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Take care and be well. Bye-bye.